Maurizio Baldoni, sales manager of Arcadia. Uh, this is a new concept of how to uh, deal with electricity. We make use of uh, solar panels. Uh, these solar panels are devoted mainly to give uh, a power to the battery, to recharge the battery, in order that while the boat is anchored, you not, don't need to run generator at all. You only have solar panels that uh, give power to all the hotelery on board, like a TV, frigo, and whatever, without having uh, smoke, vibration, and especially not consumption. Uh, this is for to be green. Frequency converter. This is a converter yeah. and this is the motor. This is the motor. Okay. okay. And this is the expensive part, huh? No, 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 not absolutely. The motor, why you need a gearbox? Uh, you need a gearbox to bring down the, the high revolution, revolution down to the propeller speed to propel the speed to allow a low operation in the, with the vessel, slow speed in harbor, or also when you shut up the diesel engine to have the slow speed maneuvering. Brings down the noise vibration to a very low level. So these are the main advantages of running with an electric motor. In the electric motor, it is only because the electric motor is so powerful and the torque that it goes through the gearbox. But in the electric cars, we have only electric functions. Yeah. In this case, we have a parallel hybrid so that the diesel engine for the high speed and the electrical engine for the low speed. So that we need in the middle of something yep. to couple the two mm -hmm. powers and uh, electrical and diesel to yep. through the gearbox to the shaft line. Right. If I understand you right, the diesel engine can go over the gearbox directly yes. to the propeller. Yes. 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 It is, it is, uh, the two motors cooperate and uh, share their, their tasks. Let me, let me say it. You can go either with diesel or either so electric or you can go with both. Like a boost function to have a diesel main propulsion and an electric motor additionally has a booster to, to bring you the full speed. What is the, uh, I know you won't like the question, but I ask it. What is the power range of this roundabout, this model? This gearbox is capable for about 3,500 kilowatts. And usually this gearbox is in a, a yard size of 60 meter. Uh, that is the size of gearbox. So this is quite, uh, for us, a medium range gearbox, so we have much bigger, we have the smaller ones. Our range starts with 10 horsepower, goes up to 15,000 horsepower, that is the range of our gearboxes. Okay, can we say something in having uh, such a yard? I think so. Just cruising in the port is 650 per hour. Would it be less with the uh, hybrid version of the port? Much less. True, much less. Much less. Uh, what do you expect? 30% less or 20% of the total? 20%. Could, could we say that? Words with the electric propulsion, we are able to cruise up here to 7, 8, 9 knots, so that not only the hardware, with less consumption, less emissions, and saving a lot of fuel. So our estimation is 20, 30% of the total consumption related to a normal diesel. CO2 so reduction. Really, really a, a great uh, challenge to. to but we are here with this solution, therefore, and we can also uh, propel these electric uh, motors with batteries, so that we have zero emission uh, solution, so that no one thermal engine running. Okay, I want to tell you about the solar boat we designed it right, uh, right here. It's a solar challenge, which uh, every two years is in uh, the Netherlands, it's the World Solar Challenge. And we race with uh, about uh, 25, 26 solar boats, 200 uh, nautical miles. And uh, well, you never know, uh, all this uh, research and development might lead one day into uh, fishing boats in Africa using the same uh, technology.